If you want to score more goals, these are some soccer drills for strikers and forwards. These are soccer drills for forwards or strikers. And they're all gonna incorporate shooting and finishing. And in my opinion, as a striker, if you're practicing by yourself or with your team, the main objective is to fill that net with this ball or all these balls as many times as you can. We all wanna score more goals, but if we analyze how we're actually practicing, we're not practicing shooting. The only time some people practice shooting is when they're in the match and then they get upset when they don't score enough. So if you wanna score more goals, this time in practice, get those repetitions, practice scoring goals, it will transfer to the game. So all these different shooting drills, good for strikers, but players of all position. First one I'm gonna do is a placement finish. So I wanna warm up the legs a bit, but also practice this finish that we all need as a striker. Running on a breakaway, one-on-one, -on -one, I'm just gonna open up my feet and I'm gonna pick a corner. Okay, so a couple things. I have a little rebounder here. It's actually the back of a mini net. And I wanna do a better job of that because that's a save. <clears throat> but when I'm playing this pass here and I'm receiving the ball and I'm receiving the ball, here I wanna practice running with speed because if I have an opportunity to get in on goal and I go too slowly, Defender's gonna come back in front of me. Now I have to beat him again. Anytime you have the opportunity to get in on goal, use your pace, whatever pace you have, be direct. Hey, what's up? I hope you're finding this content helpful. Watch this all the way to the end if you wanna find out which subscriber got this video's special shout out. Then get your head up, then pick your spot, okay? That guy doesn't wanna stay up, he's staying down. So practice with both feet. Running with the ball, composure, picking a corner. Okay, so there's two finishes that I would practice here. One is like I've been doing. Opening up, opening up, putting it to that far side. The other one that I would practice as a striker, or encourage, encourage you to do, is play that pass, attack. Here I'm gonna shape like I'm going there, but Way. I'm shaping like I'm going to this corner, giving the keeper the eyes. So with my, with my body positioning, I'm shaping there with my eyes, I'm looking there, but at the last second, I'm passing in there. Okay, so that's the first drill that you could do for a striker. Placement finish, on a breakaway, running with the ball, last second, get composed. Put it in the corner, put a bit of pace on it, start slow, put a bit of pace on your movement, a bit of pace on your shots. Getting this guy out of here, he's pissing me off. Okay, next one. Again, all of these, realistic, one-on-one, -on -one, bit of skill, and then get your shot. Now you're a little warmed up, okay, bit of skill, get your shot on net. So again, same as on the breakaway, if I attack him slow, or if I attack that space slow, I'm gonna have to beat more guys. I'm gonna miss my opportunity to shoot. If I dribble at him slow, I'm easy to defend. defend. If he's on his back foot here, I wanna use my speed to my advantage. Okay, so dribbling, shooting after a bit of skill. So if you don't have a partner or someone to pass, that's fine. Just go, bit of skill. Practice getting the shots on there. As a striker, biggest thing is that you're actually hitting the target. Don't worry about it going in the top corner, breaking the net. Just hit the net every single time, and then you can focus on hitting those corners a little deeper, or a little sharper, but. Practice shooting after a little bit of skill. Moving forward, some more soccer drills for strikers forwards. Here I wanna focus on getting your shots off quickly. How many times in a game have you had a really good opportunity to shoot, but for some reason you took another touch or maybe you took another touch when you should have just hit it and you knew you should have just hit it or you had a really good opportunity to shoot and for some reason you passed it 
to a teammate. Or even worse, you just took way too long and you lost possession or you gave the ball away because you hesitated. Don't let that happen to you, especially as a striker. You need to develop this mindset that anytime that ball's coming to me, especially in the attacking third, I'm already thinking, how can I get my shot off as quickly as possible? Now, I'm not telling you to rush your shots. I'm not telling you to rush your shots. But I am telling you that before that ball is coming to you, I'm not thinking about, okay, have a good first touch. Now maybe I can dribble into space and now I can turn. Before that ball is coming to me, I'm already thinking, here's the space for my shot. And I'm trying to get that off quickly, okay? Because if you take one touch to receive, one touch, let's play, one touch to receive, one touch to turn, turn towards goal. Now I'm gonna try to shoot, it's way too long. This guy's gonna tackle you easily. I'm already thinking, boom, how can I find some space for myself before that ball comes to me? So this is a drill that you could practice shooting off a turn. If you have a teammate or you have something to pass to you, into space, getting your shot off. Okay, so first touch, before that ball is even coming to me, I already know, Oy. I already know I'm trying to attack, I'm trying to spin and turn. So you could set this up in many different variations from the side, let's do a few. Okay, but get in the mindset of, before that ball comes to me, I'm already thinking of my first touch. I'm not stopping it. Then I'm gonna do a bit of skill and then I'm gonna beat you. It's too long in a game. I'm thinking, boom, get your shot off quickly. Okay, so that split second between, between first touch and shot needs to get sharper. What I mean by that is the time it takes for me to take the shot and then to release my shot for me to take that touch and then to release that shot, it needs to be sharper because the higher level you play off, play at, the less time you have to get your shot off. So think about touch out of space, but also the quick footwork to get to your shot. If I'm receiving this ball, touch, and then I'm moving my feet slowly, it's taking too long. Okay, so focus on good touch, quick feet. Get your shot off quickly. The last of the soccer drills for strikers I wanna show you is one-timers. So as a striker, you need to become comfortable hitting the ball early. If I always need one touch, two touch to set myself before I can get a shot off, I'm gonna miss my opportunities. As I said, the higher level you play off, play at the less time you have to get your shots off. So you, need to become comfortable striking the ball early with both feet in different ways. So let's demo a few different scenarios, ways you could take one-timers. Okay, my teammate wants to play me half volleys. Maybe your teammate will give you better quality. You can play off the turn. Let me see if I can hit that a little cleaner. A little better. Okay, but playing in different ways. And, Whatever happens, just try to hit it, especially in practice. Don't worry about taking an extra touch. You have to build, build a confidence and you just have to try. You're never gonna be able to hit that full ball. You're never gonna be able to score the goal if you don't try to take the shot. Okay, so practicing different ways. And anytime I miss a shot, I wanna try to replicate that and analyze. So this came across me and I pulled on it. Let's see if we can play with you, buddy. This came across me and I pulled on it. Where'd I go? I went that way with my follow through, with my body positioning. So the next time I wanna hit this, I wanna go that way, forward. Okay, so if you have a bad shot, correct it. Another one you could do is a forward pass into the target. And I wanna make better contact on that. Something like that, let's try again. Let's settle there, okay? But when you're striking one-time shots, it's so important that you keep your eye on the ball until you make contact. A lot of times, 
that pass will come in if he wants to play with me. This pass will come in and before I've even made contact with the ball, I'm already looking, I'm already looking up, I'm already looking at the net. Especially on one time, you really have to focus on where you're making contact on the ball. Pick a specific spot that you want to hit and keep your eye on that until your foot actually makes contact with the ball. So these are some soccer drills for forwards or strikers. This is the featured subscriber for this video. If you'd like to be featured in future videos, hit that like button, drop a comment below, and let me know how my videos have helped you improve and achieve more in this sport.